Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So my sister-in-law, Sabrina the Makeup Mom, tagged me in the YouTube Beauty Community tag. So I think she was tagged by Miss Sherry Ward. So this should be kind of interesting. I kind of glanced at the, the questions, but I didn't really think them through. So you're going to kind of get a spot on answer from me. So we're going to see how this goes, okay? And don't judge my answers. Don't judge. I'm just trying to be truthful. All right, so tag questions. What are your favorite videos to watch? Usually if I'm gonna be reviewing a product or I'm gonna try it on myself, I won't watch anyone else's videos on them because I just kinda wanna have my own opinion. Then I'll go back and see if other people have had the same kinda challenges that I've had or have they had good luck. So I really like to, as I'm trying to do new product reviews, really not watch anyone else's videos. Now, as far as when I'm bored, which isn't often, but I do like watching kind of the crime documentaries. I like watching some of Dr. Phil's. I like watching medical videos. Holy crud, so I'm huge into medical videos. And let's see, yeah, really anything kind of disturbing on the medical side is what I find absolutely intriguing because I find the human body just absolutely amazing. So as things are getting fixed, removed, taken out, attached, I don't know, I find that all intriguing. So I'll typically watch those. I'll watch kind of some stuff from the taco on occasion. Usually that's because I'm really bored. And I do watch some beauty gurus um, just because I, I enjoy the beauty community. Okay, what are your favorite videos to film? I did really enjoy doing my 17 year anniversary photo, photo filming with my husband Rob. That was kind of fun just because we were connecting and we really didn't, I mean, we didn't script. Actually, we were getting ready to go for dinner and I said, you know what, why don't we go ahead and just film a video? We've been together 17 years. What are 17 things that we appreciate about each other? So it was a really impromptu video, but I enjoyed just kind of the answers I think that both of us had, which shows that, um, you know, you can still connect after 17 years of marriage. The other videos I like to do, I really like to do the reviews um, because before I got into this, thanks to Sabrina the Makeup Mom, I never knew what to buy or why. And you know, sometimes you see pictures in beauty magazines and you don't know is the product really good. So I think that I really enjoy testing products and seeing how they work and are they worth the money because I'm hoping that I'm saving someone else the time and money, and money is hard to make. It's hard to come by. So I'm hoping that I can save some viewers or point them in the right direction if they have similar skin types than me or if things that irritate them such as fallout, that I can help them not purchase something or if it's a great product to try it themselves. So I do like filming those videos. My least favorite videos to watch is the ones where people are tearing each other down. So it really disturbs me that people will take the time to video and say things about another human being just because they don't like them anymore or they don't, I don't know. It's, I just find that really disturbing there. It, I, 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 I just don't understand the thought process to that. I guess maybe because negativity attracts people more than happiness does for whatever reason, but I just don't understand that. My um, favorite part of the beauty community is the, the subscribers. Oh my gosh. So A, the subscribers are what I've absolutely enjoyed. I have developed some great friendships out of the beauty community and also the other beauty vloggers. 
So I've had a chance to get to know some of them personally and really, really appreciate them. And the fact that they're so sweet and genuine. I think the smaller beauty, YouTube beauty com community is still kind of the place to hang out in just because Everyone is real. There's, I don't think anyone's tainted yet, so to speak. And you just find some genuinely wonderful, wonderful people. And it's not to say that the larger YouTubers are, are bad or horrible. That's not it at all. They have opportunities by far greater than the smaller YouTube community. And maybe the pressure is higher on them than there are for the smaller YouTubers. So. There are some huge YouTubers that I like to watch because they're always positive, they're always happy, and I've recently found a few more that I'm enjoying watching. Um, and they give me hope that as the channel grows that there are still going to be some really amazing people out there that don't try to tear down other YouTubers. I guess really that was also the least favorite part of the beauty community in that answer, so we'll skip over that one. Uh, what motivated you to start your YouTube channel? So my sister-in-law, Sabrina the Makeup Mom, is who inspired me to start the channel. I was very, very uncomfortable with it at first. I was scared to death. I didn't know, I don't know. I thought, why would anyone watch? But Sabrina made a point. She said, you know, there's a lot of young YouTubers out there and they do great work. They're wonderful. But for ladies that are in their 40s, or mid 40s, definitely a mid 40 for sure in a few months. For those um, women, there isn't a lot out there for us. So how we put on makeup might be slightly different because we might have hooded eyes now. We might have wrinkles to contend with. We might have rosacea. We we have different needs that, than the younger YouTubers have. The younger YouTubers just haven't had a chance to have their skin age like we have. So Sabrina really inspired me to try it for the, the kind of give women hope in, in a little bit older community. And so, and inspire women to have fun again with makeup, have fun like you used to when you were younger and you try things. And I think, you know, even for me, when she asked me to do it or consider it, I really was in a rut. I think I had one makeup bag and it had the same Mary Kay products in it that I think I was on an auto ship because I just, I just didn't feel pretty anymore. I just felt tired. And so I'm hoping that um, her inspiration for me starting this channel will actually be an inspiration for other um, women and men. Who inspires you most on YouTube? So I'm gonna have to go back to Sabrina. She is an amazing, amazing person. She has, and I know her personally, obviously with her being my sister-in-law, but the, the woman has an amazing soul, an amazing spirit, and has just a huge love for life and those around her, and she is passionate. She's also very real. You don't ever have to worry about a conversation with her, her not giving you a truthful answer. Um, the one thing I love about her channel is if she doesn't like something, she definitely tells you and she tells you why in a kind way. Um, if she loves something or if she's gonna repurchase it, she's gonna tell you why and she is she is loyal with, with the products that she repurchases. In fact, she's got me hooked on a few of hers that I use daily because she's right. If she says to repurchase something, it really is a good product. And I think because I know her so well and I know how genuine and wonderful she is, um, and she started her YouTube channel before I did, uh, she just, she inspires me to be a better person. She inspires me to be just kind of a, a better stepmom, so to speak, um, and a step grandma. And she, she just is wonderful. I wish you guys could get a chance to meet her personally, not just through her YouTube channel, because I think you'd be thoroughly impressed with the quality of an individual that she is. The number one thing I would change about the beauty, YouTube beauty community, I mean, I think, you know, like I said, um, or I may have alluded to, doing a, no, I didn't allude to it. 
Doing a, a review when you don't like something is extremely hard because like, for instance, I don't want to be mean to a product. I don't want to be mean to the creator, but I do want to be honest that something didn't work for me. I think for the beauty community, again, it goes back to negativity. Negativity sales. People will watch videos where there's extreme negativity. And I don't know, is it like a car accident? You drive by it and you can't keep looking to figure it out? I don't know. Um, I would change the horrible bits that people are to each other because there really isn't a need to be that vicious to, to someone. And in turn, you know, the beauty community doesn't like it when they're under the spotlight and someone is being vicious back to them. There really isn't a need to be vicious. It is okay to have a difference of opinion. Absolutely. A product may work on someone else that it may not work on me or a product I may love that someone may not love, but you don't have to be vicious about it. And if you have to be negative and vicious to build a channel, that's just kind of sad. That's kind of sad. The number one advice for other creators or new people starting out a channel. A, it's, it's difficult. You wouldn't think talking to a camera would be that difficult. It is. You, you know, I think there's a lot of self doubt in the beginning. Is anyone gonna watch my content? Am I interesting enough? So I would say be patient, be creative, be you. Also find a mentor. So Sabrina, and I go back to her, is she has talents that I don't have. Um, she finds things in the computer or how to make things better or how to edit better. I just, that's not my forte. So she has been my mentor through this process because I can send her an email or a text or call her and say, okay, I'm having this issue, what do you think? Or how do I fix this? Because it's, you know, I, something just doesn't look right to me. So anyways, I would say find a mentor. Mentoring, whether you're in a YouTube com community, in your workplace, if you're trying to make your life better, mentors are amazing because they already have experience and they can tell you the good, bad, and indifferent and help you get better. So then when you get to that level, you know, you, you can keep them as a mentor or you may, depending on where you're going in life, you may want to choose another mentor with a high bar and you just kind of learn and you grow. And the people that are mentors really and truly love to do it because they want to see you succeed. They want to see you happy. They want to see you grow and be fulfilled. And so I think being, you know, either finding a mentor until you get your feet up underneath you or becoming a mentor at some point to pay it forward is exactly what I would give advice for the channel. And then what do you love about YouTube as a whole? Um, I love YouTube as a whole, not just the beauty community, but anything you want to find, you can find on YouTube. So if you lock yourself out of your car, you can put in the model of your car and find out how do you unlock your car. If you're having trouble with a camera, you can go on and, and Google it, Google it. <laughs> you can search it on YouTube and you can find a YouTube video that will help you understand your camera instead of trying to read a book. So the, the YouTube community as a whole, I really like because everyone has their passion in life, whether it's photography, whether it's cars, whether it's makeup, whether it's jokes, um, pranks, hair tutorials. It doesn't matter what there is in life. There's someone on YouTube that is going to connect with you because they have similar interests. And then depending on how active you are on YouTube, whether you're a subscriber or you have a channel, is again, you get to meet the most amazing people ever. I am so absolutely thankful for the friendships that I have gained. I love, oh my gosh, I have some of the funniest subscribers that are sweet and kind, like Faye. Hi, Faye. Faye is in the UK. I'm in the US. Somehow we've developed a friendship. We're now friends on Facebook. And, you know, if if I'm celebrating something, Faye will put a note underneath, you know, what I put on Facebook. If she got a dog and it's so 
darn cute. So I was able to, you know, welcome her new family member. And so it's kind of interesting to me that, you know, you kind of do, like I do these videos and I don't expect much back. Um, I actually expect nothing back. But then you get to meet these amazing people. And then suddenly your life is so much better because you've got these new positive influences coming in and they're so supportive. I think Faye might be one of my biggest supporters yet other than Sabrina the Makeup Mom. So I, I really love that. And then I love the, the YouTubers like Sherry Ward that um, I've kind of met through my sister-in-law and Ashley and there's so many more that I could list off that I really enjoy watching them, but I've also enjoyed getting to know them personally. So I think that's the beauty of YouTube. I just enjoy the positive people that I've had a chance to meet and how much they have influenced my life just by making you know little comments here and there and so being so supportive. I love the comments, I love interacting, and I am so thankful for those people that do leave comments because y'all mean a ton to me, and thank you for supporting this old woman. With that said, um, I'll quit rambling. That is the beauty community tag that I finally got around to because I didn't understand where to find the questions. 